Foundations and Method students, this week we're going to be making a uh, roasted cauliflower steak with bechamel, cheese sauce, and bacon, and a tomato salad. So let's get started with the cauliflower. It's a process. We're going to roast it. So you take your garlic, clove, and rub the cauliflower head all over. Next, we're going to take uh, the leaves off the bottom. So I like to just go ahead and slice off that core. You can absolutely compost all of this lovely foliage here. Oh. This cauliflower, it's an organic cauliflower that I got from the neighborhood market. They're really pretty right now. They got a good bunch in. It's an organic cauliflower right there. So we're gonna um, also, so we've got a garlic rubbed on there, two tablespoons of olive oil, and two tablespoons of Dijon. We're gonna whisk that up. So we'll have a lot of uh, things that we're gonna do with this cauliflower today. We're gonna roast it first, then we'll let it cool. Then we'll slice it and grill it off before we serve it. We're also going to be making some bacon. If you want to keep this a vegetarian dish, I'm going to give you some vegetarian options for added crunch to this dish. So we're just going to take that mustard and olive oil and rub it all over our cauliflower head. flavor and color. It's going to take approximately an hour to roast in the oven. Okay, looks good. Season with some salt and pepper. And into the oven we'll pull. and helps with clean up. I have seen chefs cook their bacon on the rack. I, however, like to cook mine straight on the pan. I think that bacon tastes better when it cooks in its own fat. Um, then once we get it out, we'll actually put it on a cooling rack and let it cool because that fat will congeal on the bacon if you don't strain it off. And what we're going to do with this bacon is serve it with our cauliflower steaks. I will be showing you a way to add crunch to that dish and keep it vegetarian. Okay, into the oven I guess. show you an alternative to bacon if you'd like to keep this dish vegetarian. So I went ahead and um, crisp up some cheddar cheese yesterday. Um, you can substitute these little parmesan crisps. They do the job too. You just put that in the oven, shred it, and let it get golden brown. And take it out and it becomes very crunchy. I'm sure that you've had these crisps before. Um, when you make them yourself, you can use all these great shapes to oops, decorate your plate with. But today we're just going to crunch them all up and use them as a substitute to bacon bits to keep this dish a vegetarian. Nice little crunches. 
So another way that you can do this if you don't have a little chopper like this, is put, we'll do some Parmesan. Put your Parmesan in your bag. We're going to have some fresh sliced tomatoes to go with our cauliflower steak today. And I thought it would be a lot of fun to use some of the little tomatoes and some of the romas. So some of the cherry tomatoes and some of the romas. I actually got these at the neighborhood market and they're organic. They look really nice. I like the contrast in color and as uh, summer progresses, farmers markets will be carrying a variety of really lovely tomatoes that you can use. So there's some sliced romans that we'll use later when we plate. And then I'm going to go ahead and slice the little cherries in half. Those are going to be really fun on our plate. I'm really excited to cover the last mother sauce with you today, and that's um, bechamel. We'll be making the cheese sauce. Foundations and Method students, we're putting together a bechamel and then we're going to turn it into a cheese sauce. So we know that bechamel is one of five mother sauces and we'll be using the cheese sauce today and so that's a small sauce off the mother sauce. So a few other um, small sauces that are in the bechamel family are your cream sauce and that's when you add spalding cream, lemon juice, and bechamel. We also have a Mornay, um, that's a Gruyere and Parmesan cheese add to bechamel, a Nantua. Um, which is uh, a region of France, and uh, that is uh, heavy cream and crawfish, um, so a little paprika, so it looks a little pinker. And then subis, which is sweat onion. it's sweat onions and butter added to bechamel. So I've taken milk and an onion piquet, which is a half of the onion with a clove, a, bar, a clove, and then a bay leaf, and you steep the milk. Then you add that to a roux, which is equal amounts of butter and flour. And I've already done that. So now we have our, <laughs> excuse me, basis for our starter for our bechamel. And moving into that small sauce from bechamel, go ahead and strain the bechamel.
we're just going to let that cheese melt into the bechamel. We'll season with salt and pepper. And then we'll plate our cauliflower steaks. So the cheese sauce is looking amazing. I'm going to give it a little taste. Just for good measure, because it has a lot of freshness. Some chopped parsley for my garden. These are going to be amazing. 